Well, it's the modern parent's dilemma, prying the kids away from technology and getting them outside to play. A new playground in the Western Sydney Parklands has solved that problem using modern technology to encourage kids to explore the Australian bush. Here's reporter Jessica Kidd. It's been dubbed Australia's most high-tech playground. The Plough and Harrow Park combines technology and play to get kids moving. The idea here was to create a, an amazing nature-based experience that would get kids off the couch and outside into the, into the playground. Children use mobile phones to scan codes throughout the playground and learn about the sights, smells and sounds of the bush. They're encouraged to leave the beaten track and make their own discoveries. Well, there's a aeroplane, there's a motorbike, yeah. there's a bird, there's a frog, there's a lizard, there's, there's a, a spider. There's not a spider. <laughs> the coded information teaches children about the plants and animals living in the native Cumberland Plain woodlands surrounding the park. They're able to then get information about those animals, the noises that they make, uh, where they're located, and they can then spot them in the park and see what they're like. It makes a move. It makes a move. The play equipment itself is based on multiplayer computer games, testing speed and agility. I think probably computer games are getting a bit slagged off at the moment, and they are, in actual fact, engaging the kids and giving them opportunity for discovery and journey and exploration. Technology is cool, so that's why... The playground is cool because it has technology in it. And, and everyone loves technology. Active, which is good. <laughs> yeah, it's active, but it just feels like computer games. Something I like about the playground is that I like pressing buttons. The critics agree this one's a winner. Jessica Kidd, ABC News, Cecil Hills.